Cash as we know it is dying, and digital payments are on the rise. It is so cool! We sent two crack reporters to find out what happens when society cashes out. Check, Check please. <laughs> We're about to start our journey, surviving one entire day on just Bitcoin. First, we need to actually get one, so we're stopping at Bitcoin ATM. Let's get started. Scan your Bitcoin address. Let's try that again. Doesn't seem to be working. Hmm. There we go. $20 is going to get me a tiny fraction of a Bitcoin, but let's go ahead and tap to complete this. Send it. That's pretty easy. I use apps and maps to find the closest place that accepts Bitcoin and is 20 blocks away. Now, I've stopped by a bunch of places that show they accept credit card, Apple Pay, Google Wallet, Square, even AARP and Diners Club, but no Bitcoin. This is the first, Pita City. Let's give it a shot. I'd like a beef and lamb shawarma and a bottle of water. Okay, can we do that in Bitcoin? I need your phone to scan that. Yes. Well, I can take a picture of a no, QR I code. No, I have to scan what you account mm -hmm. and give me the phone. I will scan the bar. It tells me that I, All right, that's I why snap you, a photo that's of it, why I so you can hold it. I got it. Yes. All right. Send okay, send. send payment. After this, I'm going to need to get to work, which will be difficult because I can't buy a transit card in Bitcoin. Not quickly, anyway. So I'm going to call the one service I know that takes it, a limo. Thank you. Hey. Thank you very much. So I pay in Bitcoin through an invoice, right? Yes. Do you want me to fill it out? Oh, it says it has an error submitting the request. Let me try that again. My driver, Airjohn, had to call the office, but we finally got it working. Erjan told me his company takes Bitcoin because it's cheaper than credit cards. European IT executives love it. Back at the office, I tried ordering flowers for my wife. No local florist would take it, so I was forced to order online. It was more than I usually pay, but at least it worked. All right, so we've reached the end of the workday and I want to go get a drink, but I can't get there on the subway because I have to pay in cash or credit card. I don't want to take the expensive limo ride again, so I mean, I need cash. So I'm going to ask people for cash for Bitcoin. Hi, does anybody here have Bitcoins? Do you know what Bitcoins are? I quickly realized this was not going to happen, so I resorted to a sign. I'm feeling pretty miserable. This is clearly not going to work. So I've held this sign up, like 500 people walked by me, and nobody seems to even know what Bitcoins are. So I'm going to give up and just borrow one of my producer's Metro cards. I'll just use this instead. Old Man Hustle is one of the very few bars in Manhattan that accept Bitcoin. The owner, Mike, is a true believer. He thinks this is the future of money, even if Bitcoin ends up like Napster. When Napster came out, it failed, but it also set up the future for digital music. And I believe that to be the same case for Bitcoin. All right, so what do I owe you for the beers that I've ordered so far? Um, $6. Do you find this process quick? I think it's very fast. Hmm. And we can probably see it here in just a second. Oh, it worked. Surviving 24 hours from Bitcoin is possible, but it's not easy. It takes a lot of research. You have to figure out where you're gonna get a Bitcoin, how you're gonna spend it, and even when you go to a business, oftentimes they don't know how to manage the transaction. So if I've learned anything in this experience, it's that Bitcoin is interesting, it's really cool to use, but it's a little bit impractical. I don't think I'd do this again.